Welcome to school today where your teachers are going to duke it out. On the lesson for today, those teachers will be battling out for air pressure. Each teacher will have a mystery box of items and within that mystery box, they need to have two items that they use. Our judges today will help you with that. We have Mr. Fisher, Mr. Conway from the PE department, and of course, Senorita Shorewood. Here are today's contestants opening their boxes. We have Mrs. Calderon. Mrs. Strauski. Also, Mr. Bingerman. Who is going to be the winner? Who will get school? So when I went and I opened up that box and I had all those different materials, I just had an idea that with that cup and that um, a plate that I could do my gravity defined, you know, cup activity. And when I was opening up that mystery box, the thing that caught my eye right away was these two empty aluminum cans and these tongs. And I knew right away what I was going to do. I was going to crush the competition. You know, when I saw the rubbing alcohol and, and the bottle of Pepsi, I knew what exactly what I was going to do. The light bulb went on over my head. I'm going to do my world famous cloud in a bottle. It'll be totally lit. All right, so this is uh, something that you guys can do at home. All right, so if you get your cup and your plate, so I'm going to fill this up with water. Two about here. Okay, and air pressure is all around us. And if I sit there and I put this plate on here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over. <laughs> and if I go like this, I let go, you can see that the plate sticks to that. And so all around, there's air pressure. Inside the cup, there's less air pressure than around. So it's kind of keeping that plate in place. So that's something you could try at home. And then if I, squish on it. I don't want to do that. It'll get all over, but <laughs> yeah. And it's all around. So there's air pressure all around. So it's keeping that plate up here. Okay. All right. So thinking back on Mrs. Calderon's uh, demonstration there uh, on air pressure, uh, pretty awesome technique. Uh, I saw her eyes get really big when she flipped over the plate because I don't think she really trusted science there for a second until the plate was sticking on the bottom due to air pressure coming in from all different directions equally and that's what made that plate stick right there. Awesome job Mrs. Calderon. 10 out of 10. I really like what you did there. It really stuck with me. Well, I don't want to be rude, but it wasn't the coolest thing I've seen. Okay judges, so for my demonstration on air pressure I'm going to be doing a can crush and for this demonstration I'm gonna need a hot plate, tongs, two aluminum cans, a little bit of water, and then a container of ice water. Don't worry, I did not take all the ice out of the freezer because I did leave some for when I burn my competition. All right, first thing that you're going to do to do a can crush is you take the empty aluminum can. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to the can. All right, currently a liquid state of matter. And then I'm gonna put it here on the hot plate to start heating up that water that the water particles are going to start moving faster. And they're also going to start spreading apart and having a phase change into a gas. And then that gas is water vapor and water vapor is going to start filling up the can. But then that water vapor as it's filling up the can is going to end up pushing the air that was inside the can out of the opening because this is an open system. Ah, this is perfect. You can definitely see and hear that all that water is now phase changing into water vapor. All the air that was inside the can has been pushed out and displaced by the water vapor. I'm gonna take this can and I'm gonna plunge it into this ice water. It's gonna rapidly cause all that water vapor to phase change back into water, except 
water has way less volume than the water vapor because a gas takes up the space of the container that it's in. Um, so I'm gonna plunge it into the ice water and we're gonna see what happens. Let's see that again. The air in this room is crushing the can because there's a vacuum inside of the can as a result of the water vapor switching back into liquid water. And nothing is holding the can open anymore. So the air pressure just shoves the can in and it collapses in on itself and that's how we crush this can. All right, so Mrs. Ostrowski's demonstration with the can crush, which I really enjoyed, uh, when she heated up the little bit of water that was inside the can and then put it in the cold environment, bang, it made that sound. I just nearly jumped out of my chair. It was crazy how that can crushed. I give her a, a crushing 10 out of 10. I felt like you really turned up the pressure on the competition. But it wasn't horrible. All right, so we have ourselves one two liter bottle and we're going to add to that about one cap full of rubbing alcohol. We're going to put our rubbing alcohol away, nice and far away for safety. And we're going to put our cap on our bottle and shake it up. Shake it up. And I'm waiting for the rubbing alcohol to evaporate, and I think that's a good time for me to mention to you that you should not try this at home without adult supervision. One last magic ingredient, we're gonna turn off the lights. All right, so now I have a two liter bottle filled with nothing but air and a little bit of rubbing alcohol. We're gonna set that on fire. hear that? And then we're going to put the cap back on. When we set the alcohol on fire, we turned it into water vapor and carbon dioxide. So essentially now, I have a bottle filled with air that has a lot of warm water vapor in it. It's a warm, moist air mass, just like what would form on the ground above a warm farm field. As it rises, it loses pressure. So it starts out down on the ground under a lot of pressure. I'm going to squeeze it to show that it's got a lot of pressure on it down on the ground. But then it rises. And when it loses pressure, what happens? That's when it forms a cloud. High pressure, it's all clear. Low pressure, cloudy, clear, cloudy, clear, cloudy. High pressure, low pressure. High pressure, low pressure. High pressure, low pressure. And that is the reason why our weather scientists like to track the pressure. Because when there is a high pressure system, the skies will be clear. And when there's a low pressure system, the skies will get cloudy. All right, so Mr. Bingaman's uh, cloud in a bottle demonstration kind of scared me. Anytime Mr. Bingaman has flames in his hand, uh, it gets dangerous. So just watch out. But when he lit that and uh, made that noise, that woo noise going down, kind of freaked me out there for a minute. You never can trust Mr. Bingaman. You know how he is. So then when he actually was squeezing the bottle and then unsqueezing the bottle, and then you could see the cloud appear and you couldn't see the cloud appear, it went clear. I thought that was awesome. Mr. Bingaman, he burns the competition every time. I think we have to call the fire department, because I was on fire. You know, Mr. Bingaman, you really tried to impress me with that one, but it wasn't on fuego. All right, well, we value our judges' opinions. We also value yours. So don't forget to vote on the best air pressure demonstration from Mr. Bingaman, Ms. Ostrowski, or Ms. Calderon. The vote is yours. Get to it.